And then what I usually do is I take, have you guys seen those conference uh, things that have the alligator clip? I, I get one of those and modify it so this sticks in it. And I, I clip it right to my shoulder thing, arm thing there. And that gives me two free hands. And so what you do, it's, you remember that it's cover the eye, push, pull, and pop. Oh, okay. Okay, so oh, nice. what it's tempting to do is to just cover pull. And if you do that, a lot of times what can happen is that necessitating membrane still covers the uh, mucous membrane, okay. and so you get a lighter reading. You don't get them to curl up, you're not pushing hard enough. And it doesn't hurt them. See how when I push, mm -hmm. they curl up, and then you pull and pop. This girl's a one. Go ahead, uh, Bobby. Oh, when you say pop, what do you mean pop? You're pushing the eyeball down a little bit? Uh, no, you, you push, yeah. then you cover, push, pull, and then pop is when you just pull down on the, eye, the low eyelid more. Yeah, yeah, right. Ideally, if you, if you get it to pop, the tissue, see how it pops like that? Mm. Versus like that. And that's good. That's just what you want. It's better if you do it in direct sunlight because the colors are a little bit easier. But really, come on now. You know, it's, you work with what you got. You know, uh, and that applies to your own place too. But so, what you don't want to do is just put your hand there and then pull there. This girl, it really isn't making much difference. No, no, it doesn't. But it, that's a good point, though, because they can have two different colors sometimes. Can they really? really? Yeah, yeah. Well, explain. That. Oh, I was kidding. I don't know why. Um, but it. If you're right on, a, if you're on a four, usually check the other eye. I check the other eye. Oh, okay, you good know? to know. Yeah. It's so like your blood pressure can and be you can't yeah, one yeah, exactly. the other for too long, right? Because doesn't it change That's a good colors? Nice thing. If it's yeah. The air. Yes. What you want to do is is make a snap decision, you know, and if you make a snap enough snap decisions, you get better and better and better. But don't just kind of go ah uh, three three and a half. Cover, push, pull, and pop. Yeah, she's That's still three. right there. Damn, Just get your right hand around the neck, and then come with your left hand, and with your right thumb, you're covering and pushing, and the left thumb, you're pulling and popping. It's a lot easier to do that than try to do it with one hand. The sun is, you know, in back of you. You're shadowing the, the you, you's head, so it's better to uh, do it at the time of day where the sun is directly into the sheet. If you can, that's another one of those things that sometimes you can do it and sometimes you can't. Okay. She's a one or a two. She's, she's okay. She's good. Okay. What are you doing? I'm pushing down. Cover, cover first. Push and pop. Pull and pop. Okay. What is she? She's got to be a one. You bet. Good girl. Good girl. Eat your head, you get the sheep. Right. Get your head. Okay. okay. Now, with your right hand, pull. With your left hand, put your thumb there. Oh. There you go. And then you can pull and pop with your right hand. Okay. You gotta push harder here. There you go. Oh, there. There you go. Okay. Oh, nice. What is it? That's. Uh, what well, I'm looking at the dark. I'm saying uh, a five or four. No, you got it. It's nice and pink, right? Yeah. It's a one. See, That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Now with there you go. Remember, you're gonna pull and pop with the left thumb. You, okay. Okay. So cover. I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh, good. And what I, Henry, what I can do, what you can do is, yeah, that's it. Bend that ear back. Cover. So you got to cover the whole eye. There you go. Okay. Great. Perfect. Yeah, two or one. Yep. Yep. Good job. Let's just one thing I wanted to I, I wanted to say that I forgot to is on the grazing. You know, I was encouraging to to rotate before the fourth day comes up on your paddocks. You know, uh, I didn't mean to sound too cut and dried there, because if you want to go away, if you want to go on vacation for a week, that's fine. Just give them a week's worth of grass and come back when you come back then go back to your regular moving them every four days or every one day or whatever you want to do. It's not like the end of the world, you know. So you've got a life too. And the sheep basically have to fit around you.